Hello students. In the previous lecture we have seen ellipse by concentric circle method. So now we start today with ellipse by oblong method. Let us take a question. Draw an ellipse by oblong method with major axis 120 mm and minor axis 80 mm. So first we draw axis AB and minor axis CD with center O. So measures 120 mm at center at 6. So minor axis which is 80 millimeter 40 millimeter above 40 millimeter below now we draw a rectangle using these two axes Now since we got the two axes, we know that the ellipse will definitely pass through these four points that is A, B, C and D. Now we start the construction of ellipse. For that we will start to draw an ellipse in this quarter part. We will divide this vertical line into a number of parts and this horizontal line into a number of parts. Both these lines should be divided into equal number of parts. Since this line, this vertical line measures 40 mm, we can easily take 4 number of parts. And this line AO, we need to divide into 4 equal parts. We can take after every 15 mm. Now mark these points 1, 2, 3 and 4, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now we connect point C with point number 1, then connect C with point number 2, then point number 3 with C. and 4 is all already connected. Now connect D with point number 1 which is on horizontal line and extend it till it meets line number 1 this intersection between two lines will be point P one similarly connect D with point number two on horizontal line and extend it till it matches line number two this intersection will be point P2 and then joined D with point number 3 and extend it till it reaches line number 3 which will give us point P3 as we have found these three points to get one quarter of ellipse similar way we can use the same procedure in remaining three quarters else we can just transfer these points match the roller scale with pager axis and slide it till point P1 
and project this point in the next rectangle then slide it till point P2 and project this line then for P3 then for P3 to transfer these points first we will transfer point P1 we measure from P1 to the vertical line and just transfer it in the next box similar way we measure P2 from the vertical line transfer then P3 then name these points P4 P5 and P6 now we can transfer these six points in the lower two rectangles first P1 project it vertically downward then P2 P3 P4, P5 and P6. Then we transfer all six points in the below rectangles. First measure point P1 from the horizontal axis and copy it in the below rectangle. Then point P2 measure it from the horizontal axis and copy it in the below rectangle then point P3 then point P4 and P5 and finally P6 now name it as this was P6 then P7 P8 P9 P10 P11 and P12 now using a French curve we will connect all these points to get a smooth curve try to join minimum three points at a time here we try to connect A, P1 and P2 this curve must be dark then from P2, 3 and C We connect C, P4 and P5. Then P5, P6 and B. Then B, P7 and P8. P8, P9 and D and finally P11, P12 till A
so this is how we complete an ellipse now we need to give dimensions we just have two dimensions major axis and minor axis